everyone at home. So this is the drag set up for the Harleys. Uh, I want to go through it so when you come here we can um, I can have a bit of discussion on how you go about it. So we've got a burnout area here that's usually watered. You don't have to hit it. We can go around that and then come up to our start line. So you can do a burnout in this area then pull up stumps and then what we do at our stage lights here you'll notice on this side we've got a cutout just here and there's a cutout there and that's where our sensors are and what that does is when you've got your wheel on the sensors you'll notice on the tree there's lights at the top they've got to be equal like that if you're not on the stage you'll notice one comes off if you're too far forward it'll go the other way so from here you'll wait for the guy to go and then bang green get going change gears just absolutely pump it so we've got markers on the way that will determine your 60 foot, 330,000 foot. And then you just smash it out. And up here we'll notice on each side of the track, we've got red painted. That's your quarter mile finish. So once you get past here and where the witch's hats are, we've got a sensor there. You've done your quarter mile time. Once you've gone through, you could be doing, you know, anywhere from... 150 to you know 250 odd kilometers per hour you back off and then you've got this whole run in right there is so much room here for you guys just to get off the throttle or if you're in fifth gear go up into six and just let off the throttle and just roll through but you have got a massive adequate amount of runoff after the quarter mile don't think the minute you hit the quarter mile you're straight on the brakes and you're hitting into a corner on the runoff. It's not even the case. It's quite simple, and what you need to do is not overcomplicate it. Getting off at the lights is even if you just were to take off clutch, feather friendly, and just get going, do it until you can understand what the bike's doing and what the track's doing with your traction to your rear wheel. And then all we do is just turn off. Obviously keep an eye out if someone else is um, is coming around just be mindful of people and then just cruise on back up and it's all it takes so like I said at the beginning you can either do a burnout on the water and heat your tire up or just go around it now the thing is with the burnouts people get really funny about it trying to hold the brake you know with a finger and trying to rev it and do a burnout and look cool they could skid the front tire or you know it might sort of skip out on them you don't have to do that all you need to do is just get off the lights in a manner where it doesn't red light so you don't go too quick and then it red lights you you've got to know that you're leaving on the green or typically last amber is pretty much that split micro where you go pump and get going into into your takeoff um, and then all it is is just go through your gears like you're down the street leaving the lights you know down the street you just you just take off and, and shift your gears and hold it all the way now on the way back here on our um, return road here you have got very adequate amounts of presence of red so you do know that that red is your finish line that's a quarter mile bang right there you've done your you know 400 meter sprint so to speak so I'll just do it again, Lance will probably let me go around again, I just want to show you guys and just try and develop a pattern that you can understand, even verbally through me being on the machine here, that this is what you need to do to get going. Now obviously I'm not racing, I'm not, I'm not kitted up by any means to be racing, this is just a demonstration, a very slow demonstration of what goes on, alright so here you can fist pump the crowd, cool bananas. Um, obviously just stick to your speed limit coming in here guys because we have got bodies walking around other bikes we've got to be careful and then right here you can pull up on the right we've got time slips and there'll be someone there that can um no you're right man so we'll get the tires warmed up
All right, so Shane's gonna go around the water. Um, we're just gonna, I'm gonna film it so you guys can understand what goes on. So, he misses all that. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just cruise up and we're gonna watch what Shane does. So he's gonna get the wheels on the on the right when the lights come up. Like I said, they've got to be double white. So he'll do double white. And then on And then all his time, so that was his time and his speed. And that's exactly when you come back to get your time slip, all that information's back there on the slip. So come through, go around the water if you want to, come up, there's a staging area with sensors, they're the cutouts in the walls I was talking about. Come up, both lights go white on your side, that means you're ready to go, the other side needs to do the same. And then what happens is I'll hit the button, it'll come amber, 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 green. And when you're on the green, get going, if you go quickly, before the green hits and it's too early, you've jumped, you start, the red light comes up. So like I said, come all the way down here. And then all you gotta do is back off at the red area of the uh, cement wall, that's your quarter mile done. You can get off the gas and just roll through. How relax, suck up a bit of sun, a bit of breeze, just cruise it. And then he's on the way back to go do another thousand runs. That's how he rolls. And that's it guys, I can't say it any better. Come and have a go and all you need to do is just when you go dual light at the top white, you're in your area of to start, your wheel's in the right spot at the lights. Amber, 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 green, go. And just flog the shit out of your, your bike till you get to the red area, which is your quarter finish, and roll off. You have got a massive margin of roll off. Especially on these things, you're crossing the line at, you know, say 160, 180, 190. Turbo bikes like Lee, 200 and God knows what, but even he has got plenty, absolutely plenty of runoff there. So guys, welcome to Heathcote Park Raceway. We can't wait to get you here and just get that one slip in front of you and look at it and go, right, I've got times here. What's my next one going to be? Go and do it and compare the sheets. See how much better you can get with it all. Guys, have an awesome day. That car is sick too, by the way. I don't really need it, but if you've got one for me, I'm just trying to tell the camera how to do it all. Good on your legend. All right. So what I'll do... Okay, so, reaction time is getting off the light. 60 foot is 60 foot out, 330 foot out from get go down, 660, the thousand uh, foot, and then your ET. So Shane, obviously with reaction, 60, 330, and all these have sender um, sensors on the way. I can show you that so you can understand when you've gone 60 foot, that's the time it's taken to get there and so on until the end. Um, don't worry about that, but I could have had him if I wanted to. So that's how it works. So you get this slip and you'll go through all your times and your mile per hour and that's your first run. So even if you guys did 36 like I did, so what, it's your first one. Go get another slip and compare that slip to this slip and you'll notice everything changes because your first one you might go a little bit hesitant, you're not sure what to do, but the next one you've got a gauge on it. So you come back and then we'll go through all this information and you become better. So the minute you get off the lights quicker, this time goes down. If you shift correctly, these times just start moving down, 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 and you start building a science in yourself and a program of shifting at the right time, right RPM, and all this stuff starts extracting down into a lower time. So that's how it works. All right, out of here. All right, we'll get out of here and head back to the back to the house. Um, and I'll go through this content. I just want to really put this out there to the guys that are turning up on their bikes. Don't get me wrong, I am directed at Harleys because obviously what I do, but anyone with a motorcycle, come out on a test and tune day. 
just have fun. At the end of the day, it's all about going home safe and happy and knowing you've done something good for the day and it makes you feel good. This joint definitely vibes everyone up. Like, I've had some bloody mad racing here with some of the boys. Um, you know, whether you win or lose, it's just like, it's a good laugh and it's just good to have that legacy of that day in your back pocket that you can always have a bit of a chinwag with the lads or, you know, whatever, so. Shane was good enough to, uh, you know, go down the track and, and give us a, a bit of a display on what goes on, you know, that bike, that K2 of his flies, um, I don't believe I've had, I don't think I've witnessed anyone beat him yet, I don't want to say that, but uh, that bike is bloody quick. Alright, I'll uh, get home and do an edit and uh, be safe, we'll talk soon. Yoop.